Hi there and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video we are going to see how you can print uh, great stuff with a 3D printer. So in my case, my wish is actually to print, let me show it to you, uh, is to print uh, a box in order to have uh, this uh, to fit within it. So this is a node MCU for Arduino, so typically it's an Arduino card uh, which is able to communicate in Wi-Fi and as you can see it's kind of ugly so I need of course uh, to have a nice box in order to put it in order to have a nice internet of uh, object uh, thing. So if uh, I look on the internet, I will see that you have great platforms such as uh, Yegi on which uh, you can just type the name of the object that you have. So for example, Node MCU case. And uh, if you search for it, then you will see that uh, you have many projects which have been developed already. And uh, so most of them are under Creative Commons, which means that you can uh, use them. So for example, let's imagine this uh, given project. You can have a look um, within it for some of them. So you can, for example, here you have uh, things you and you can see in fact in, in three dimensions what it looks like. So this is typically the one uh, that I download. So you just need to uh, click over here on download. As you can see, it's under Creative Commons. You just save it on your computer and once you save it, you will see uh, that you will get a, a zip file on which uh, you will get several models. So then after you just need to open your um, slicer and then as you can see, uh, when you unzip the file, you get the STL format in order to uh, import it within a slicer. Then in slicer, you just define uh, what are your uh, different settings and then you define your infill in order to say how much uh, let's say material you would like to use for this given object then you export it as a j-code and then you go uh, within octoprint and then you launch uh, the print of of your object so if i look uh, over here you see that is currently printing my my object uh, i'm currently only at that uh, seven percent and if I look uh, now on my um, on my 3D printer, yeps, you can see that it's uh, currently working on it, and that uh, in about one hour, something like this, I will get uh, <coughs> I will get my object in order uh, to put my <coughs> card within it. Okay, and that's going to be kind of magic. Uh, and that's uh, everything that I wanted to show you for today. So hope uh, you enjoy this video and that uh, now you can easily identify that you have great uh, resources out there where you can, in fact, uh, find out uh, great things that you like uh, to print. So of course, you can, for example, look for uh, Gregorin and find some. I have not yet placed for uh, Gregorin. So, so, oops. But uh, definitely, I don't know if you can go that far with uh, the 3D printer without, let's say, uh, uh, making a lot of uh, wrong print. But um, at least for the Arduino box, it should work. Thanks for watching.